What's up guys, Mega Mikey here, and as of March 11th, 2016, there is a new pack in the Crown Shop called the Road Warriors Horde Pack. And as of right now, the only intel that I have of this new pack is that there is a new mount, and the mount is the fastest mount in the spiral as of right now. It gives a 50 plus speed bonus, so it's definitely a little bit faster than the plus 40% speed bonus that we have currently on our mounts so I'm going to be opening up a few pack I have 5,000 crowns I'm gonna spend what I can on these packs and show you guys what's inside so I never opened up one of these before so this is going to be new to me as to what's inside hopefully we can get the mount permanent first try that would be awesome so first pack here we go hammering wing tooth that's an ultra rare I'm not sure what that is but we can to housing item we can definitely check what that is we also got some franken stubs is that like updated didn't franken stubs used to give a shield plus 20 percent to the next two outgoing spells that's kind of weird uh, i think they updated franken stuff as well i'm not 100 percent sure but we got a housing item that we gotta check out seems pretty interesting nothing in the second pack of course knowing my luck just a few housing items and some reagents we got a few Metaclops. We got the mount, 20%. Got some steel. Decent looking pet snack, okay. And these two Metaclops, since this is the Road Warriors, it's, it, I, I would assume that we're going to be seeing a lot of Metaclops, especially since this is, you know, that's kind of their attire. They wear some type of, like, Road Warrior outfit, in my opinion, like, with the leather jackets and the bikers and stuff like that. By the way, we got the mount, 20%. We're just going to show you guys what it looks like. Yes. I'm gonna lock it. Gotta wait for it to load. Alright, while that's loading, we're just gonna open up another pack. Here we go. Oh, whoa, what is this? Summon a minion of storm. Arnett Gale Storm. Okay, I heard like a... Like a motor running. This seems pretty cool. So this is the new mount, this is what it looks like. You run on fire wheels, that seems legit. It's like a, it's like a, like, I want to say a dragon. Kind of looks like a dragon. I'm going to see if we can get the a the AFK animation for it. So here's when you back up, once the jump. That's a high jump. Dang, yo, the jump for this is crazy. I like it. We're going to open up another pack. Rocket stuff. Oh, I think that was just the AFK animation. I just missed it. So we got some smoke. We got another minion. Caruso for balance. I might I might make a video on all these minions. I'm not gonna not gonna lie about that. I might make a video on all the minions. So the pack we just opened up, not too much stuff, just uh just another minion. So that's pretty cool. Let's open up another pack. Oh, ran out of space. So we're gonna have to clear out some house housing items that we just got. So there's the AFK animation for it. I guess it's like uh, you rev the engine or something and the smoke comes out. So that's that's pretty interesting. Alright, so we cleared out some stuff. We're gonna open up another pack. I didn't clear out too much. So this is gonna be a frequent thing. Evil Magma Peas can be obtained in this pack. That's great. So we got some Evil Magma Peas in here. So far we got some Evil Magma Peas, some new minions, and the amounts for one day. Which is actually pretty amazing uh, for a few packs. Got a, a pet. I'm not sure if this is new. This is a magma spider, so that's interesting. And we got a rock legend skull. So I'm going to assume this is one of the new wands, and it's got a square slot from the looks of it. So let's check this out real quick. Where is it? Rock legend skull. Here we go. So that's it right there in my hands. Let's actually get off the mount. Show you guys what this thing looks like. Dang, it's like a rock. You got some fumes coming out of it, some death-related fumes. And the stats were myth and death from the looks of it. The AFK animation, I would assume that it would look like what it would with the Terrace Horde one, where you hold it up in the air and rub it. But the stats, I'm going to go in-depth on the stats a little bit. I'm actually going to compare it to the Eye of the Suitsayer. Uh, my Eye of the Suitsayer is level 100, so not that great of a comparison. But 10% damage for ice and mist, uh, it wasn't miss and death my mistake 115 crit 115 block 
4% pierce, which is similar to what the level 110 version of the Eye of the Suitsayer provides. And you get a square slot, so you can add block, incoming health, etc. You know, stun resist. And you get a make cast punk lops, which does 280 myth damage and gives you a trap, a 35% trap to the next myth and ice spell. Which seems great, and the animation was just as I expected. You hold it up in the air, or you rub it, then you hold it up in the air, and it's... Yeah, similar to what the Terror Horde wants to provide, so... Uh, great few packs. <laughs> we got a uh, Evil Magma P and New Wand already. That's going to be something that I might want to use instead of the Eyes Soothsayer. Especially for my Myth Wizard, because my Death, Life, and Myth all share the add the suits here which is crazy so my myth is probably just going to hold on to this you get the same damage a little bit more crit and block and pierce and you get a score slot so this is actually going to be great and the one hits are ice and myth 150 damage each so we're going to go ahead and quick sell some stuff and i will resume with the pack opening all right cleared up some more space here we go another pack i lost count road fury jacket okay a lot of health there, 10% pip chance, 124 block, 14 universe resist, 3 pierce to death and fire, 3% shadow pip bonus, and a combustion card. Two combustion cards for level 110 and up only. So this is actually a pretty decent looking jacket in my opinion, just from the looks of the uh, display icon we're going to put it on. So that's what it looks like. We got the robe and the wand so far. Looking great. We're almost looking like a biker, in my opinion. If you ask me, the whole biker attire doesn't really fit wizardry, in my opinion. However, looks good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. Looks good. Fits the theme of the road warrior, but wizardry, I don't know. We got what looks like a Jade Oni minion, but it's a uh, Osakwa Tama. Sorry if I can't pronounce that. So that's the life minion, and we got a fire gut. 350 fire damage and plus 35% to the next fire and death. So these spells have definitely updated. Frankenstein and Fire Gut have definitely updated. Uh, it's like fire and death combo right there for Fire Gut. And we got some new boots. It got death fuel. Uh, these can be used in PvP from the looks of it. Uh, 2%, not 2%. We got two cards, two death fuels, plus 30% to the next outgoing death, death spell. So it gives three traps. 26% uh, death and fire damage, which is insane. 99 crit, 4% accuracy, 633 health. So, it doesn't look like something I would be interested in using. However, we're just going to put it on just to see what it looks like. So, we got a magma spider that had. So, these boots actually look similar to the boots that are dropped in the one-shot gauntlet for the Battle of the Bands. Yes, the Battle of the Bands. This is what it looks very similar to. Uh, I think they were called he head headbangers, I believe. Yeah, headbangers or something. So that's what it looks like. So we're missing one more thing from this whole pack, guys. We're missing the hat. And if we can get the permanent mount, that would be amazing. Hopefully, we can get both of those in one try. We got a Roadhog. Okay, we got a new pet. Roadhog. This gives a fuel card. All right. So it's a fire pet. Roadhog. All right. We're going to let that hatch and see what it looks like. And just a little bit. So we're going to buy two more packs. It looks like we have enough for. Got the same. Same minion. We got another wand. And the same mount but 20%. Which is one day. Very unfortunate. So we got a new wand. I will definitely look into that. As of right now. I was going to buy another pack. And then look at it. But got to clear out some backpack space. So we got death metal skull. Oh that looks. That looks great. Hold on let's. Let's unequip the mount. It's making a lot of noise anyway. So, this is the wand right here. This is the fire version of it. So, from the looks of this pack, it looks like a fire and death combo. And I opened it up on my myth. Very unfortunate. <laughs> but, not really, since it doesn't really seem like we have a, a, a lot of myth stuff in this pack anyways. Just kind of wrong wizard at the wrong time. So, got the uh, wand for the fire version. It's got some fire fumes instead of death fumes coming out of it this time. Here are the stats compared to the wand that I got previously. Ooh, okay, there we go. So, 10% death and fire damage, similar to the Ice and Myth one. 115 block, 115 crit, and 4 pierce. And may cast Metalops. First one was Punk Lops, this one is Metalops. So, from the looks of it, it doesn't seem like there's anything for life, storm, or balance. Just death, fire, ice, 
and myth. So those are the two new wands. I can trash a few things and we'll be able to open up one final pack. And I guess that'll be it. One more pack. Here we go. Frank and stuff. We got a new minion. A different one. My mistake. We do got something for Storm. Just a little something, something for Storm and new minion. So let's check this out. We got three new wands. Didn't get the permanent mount or the hat, which is okay. Actually, might just buy some more crowns and just open up the uh, to get the hat and the wand. But here is the wand for Storm and Life version. Anyways, looks really similar. Just got five more crit block, one extra pierce, so it makes it five pierce. And two less damage for Life and Storm. Same square slot. And we got Rock Lops. So, all the wands have May Cast wands and a square slot, which is exciting. Especially, uh, the block is amazing. The block and crit, very similar to the Terror Horde wand, in my opinion. Alright guys, we didn't get the mount or the hat, but that doesn't stop us from continuing. I was able to put on another 2,500 crowns onto this wizard. So I'm going to open up just a few more packs. The Roadhog, however, did hatch. So we're going to check that out and see what it provides. Actually, it didn't hatch. I, I assume it would over the, over the five minutes that it's been in my backpack for. But we got a little less than three seconds until we can see what it gives so we're gonna equip it we're gonna lock it so there's a pet on the side there are the, there are the numbers not too high numbers but for a first generation pet what, you, what can you expect and here it is it's like a little groundhog or a hedgehog and looks like it's fitting the biker attire as well you got the okay a little, did a little shimmy right there okay it's got a biker helmet it's got some got some goggles on it's got a little jacket too which is kind of cool it's got some some things are on its ankles, so let's see what it looks like right here. I might even do, might even train this pet up a little bit and show you guys what it gives at Asia. Oh, it rolls too. You know the rock and roller from the one shot gauntlet for Wisteria is very similar to that. The pet rolls and such. So that's, that's quite interesting. So we're going to be opening up a few more packs. I'm very full on backpack space. I probably should have emptied out a few stuff before opening this, so whoa what is this okay so looks like the hammering wing tooth that we acquired earlier will be doing some work in the house probably breaking the walls down from what it looks like uh all right cleared out some backpack space some tc space here we go another pack all right we got a portrait we got the skull cap we got one of them storm rider skull cap 475 health nine percent accuracy to all schools 138 crit 20 damage to life and storm 5% stun resist, 3% shadow pit bonus, and 2 storm fuels, plus 25% to the next 3 storm outgoing damage spells. And this is no PvP, so we have the full biker sets, not the same stats or go with the same schools, but we got the attire. We're all decked out, looking like a storm death fire type wizard right now on a myth wizard. So we got the entire set right here. I'm actually going to put on the mount. So there it is. That's the entire thing. Oh, I was about to show the AFK animation and then I kind of moved. So that's unfortunate. But we're going to open up some more packs just so I can possibly get the 50% mount permanent if possible. And if not, then that's fine. Got a pesky beetle. I got enough of those in Morgan. I didn't expect to see any more. Alright, Mythic Fuel, that's familiar. Alright, we're gonna wrap one more pack. We're gonna pray, we're gonna hope, and we're going to beg <laughs> for the new mounts permanent. And we're gonna save the remaining crowns for tournaments and stitching and etc. So, <sighs> of course, it would give me the mount, but not permanent. What do you know? Alright, so we got a new hat though. This one gives Ice Fuel, so gives a hat for every school. Fuel is going to be familiar. We already have Mythic Fuel. And Life Fuel is familiar from the Tree Serpent pet. But this hat is for the Ice version in this case. No resist, but that's fine. We got some extra Sun Resist. Something that we didn't have before. A little extra health. And that seems to be it. And the Hammering Wing Tooth, which is actually fairly... Okay, I was wondering what this did. Okay, so you just set it somewhere... You can have it hammer the wall, you can have it hammer, you can have it hammer at nothing if you just turn it at a specific part and it's holding on to nothing, it's hammering nothing. 
So, that is that. Uh, and you can't run into it, so. Alright guys, I'm about to go into the Crustacean Empire to check out the water animation for the new mount. And see what it looks like, so. Here we go, see how it looks. Alright, so you're still riding it underwater, regardless. Not what I expected it to be. The jump is still the exact same thing. Alright, not not too impressed with the underwater animation. Looks like there's less fire for obvious reasons. But I'm going to see if the AAFK animation for underwater is the exact same as well. Alright, so the AFK animation underwater is still the exact same. Same jump. You can... Well, with the jump, you can tell that you're underwater, or it's not as high as it is when you're not underwater. Uh, riding it, same thing. Alright guys, that is it for the video. If you've enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want my opinion on this new pack, I highly recommend getting it in instead of the Terror Squad pack. If you are aiming to get the Terror Squad pack for the Wands, uh, which is mainly what you should get it for, along with the Terror Dog mount. I wouldn't recommend it anymore, especially since these new wands are basically equivalent to each other. And the mount, which is a terror dog mount, is, in my opinion, it's a great mount. I personally love the mount. However, the new mount that's offered in this pack is 10% more faster. So that is another reason to get it. And the wands give a score slot in this pack, which is another reason why I highly recommend it. And the attire doesn't look too bad as well, especially if you're looking for some new stitching or some new attire or a new fresh looking mount I mean a, f a new fresh looking wand like this one to stitch for I highly recommend going for this pack but um, a rating for this pack I would give it a 8 out of 10 uh, which is same thing as a 4 out of 5 so that is just my opinion on the pack I suggest picking up at least one uh, and try to go for that mount or even a new wand if possible so that is just my opinion on it uh, if you enjoyed the video like I said guys leave a like uh, share this video for anyone who you think might be interested in buying the pack and wanting to know what's inside of it. Comment down below if you got anything from the pack. Let me know if you've opened up a pack. Let me know if you got the mount, the pet, any gear. Let me know if you've got things quicker than I did. I'll probably be a little bit salty. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Mega Mikey. And I'll see you guys in the next video.